To create gates in FCS Express, go to the Gating tab. There are several kinds of gates available, including ellipse, rectangle, polygon, and freeform. To begin creating a gate, simply select the desired gate shape and draw it on your plot. Give the gate a name, and if desired, choose its color. The polygon gate can be created by clicking once on each vertex and pressing the space bar or clicking on the original vertex to close the gate. The freeform gate is like a pencil tool. You can draw any type of shape you want. To delete gates, simply select the gate and click delete on your keyboard. If you wish to replace a gate, you don't need to start over. Just choose the gate type that you want to replace it with and draw it on your plot. Then in the pop-up menu, select the gate that you want to replace. From the gating tab in FCS Express, you can also create markers which can be moved around or resized, and quadrants. Quadrants can additionally be formatted to be percentile, X, Y, or both, or floating. With floating quadrants, you can move around each vertex individually to better fit your population. Both markers and quadrants can be converted to gates simply by right-clicking on a plot. In the case of quadrants, choose the quadrant or quadrants that you wish to convert. Like all gates in FCS Express, the populations will update live on the plots as you move around the quadrants or gates. There are a few ways to apply gates to plots in FCS Express. One is to drag and drop a gate from a plot to another. Another is to use the gating tab on the ribbon. This is especially helpful when you want to apply a gate to two or more plots simultaneously. A third way to apply gates in FCS Express is using the Gate View object on the Insert tab. Here, you can drag and drop any desired gate to any plot. The gate view is also an interactive legend of your gates. Here, you can double-click any gate to rename it, or change its color. You can also make combination gates. You can use all Boolean operators, including AND, OR, NOT, and XOR. Notice the autofill, so you won't have to type out the complete name of your gates. In the gate view, you can also reorganize the hierarchy of your gates, simply by selecting the gates and dragging and dropping them into the parental gate. 